What's goody, what's goody? It's your girl Ace of Boy, and we're back again with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to whip up some chicken alfredo. I've never actually made chicken alfredo before, but you know, all you gotta do is look up a recipe, follow the recipe, you know, put a little dash of you know, whatever you want in there, and then there you go. I'm gonna make some good food. So the first thing we have is I have already prepared some chicken tenderloins that I'm gonna cut up and put in a chicken alfredo. So this chicken is already washed, so don't worry about that. So the first thing we're gonna do is season this chicken. So we got some salt, you know, just a hint of that. Next, we're gonna put some black pepper. Next, I'm gonna flip the chicken over so I can season the other side. Season the other side exactly how we did the first side. seasonings soak in there a little bit you know so next we're gonna make this sauce so I have a bowl right here and I'm following a recipe for this part so I need one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream or you can use half and half if you don't have heavy whipping cream so this is gonna be like the main base of the sauce so I have a measuring cup right here so one and a half all right you guys know how to measure all my chemistry majors out there so, you gotta get down to the level of the measure. It's very precise. So, I'm gonna pour this in there. Two cups of grated Parmesan cheese. So, I didn't really see Parmesan cheese in the fridge, so I'm just gonna use this mozzarella cheese. You gotta use what you have. And the recipe says to use cloves of garlic, but I don't really have that, so I'm just gonna use garlic powder. It should really give it the same taste, pretty much. So I'm just gonna put like a little bit of that in there. What else? It says one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. I'm not really gonna measure it. I'm just gonna put like a little bit in there. That should be good. Um, half a teaspoon of salt, so I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of salt. Okay. So I'm gonna add some stuff that's not really in the recipe, but I think it'll make it taste pretty good. So this is some Italian seasoning, I always put this on my pizza, so pretty good. Just gonna put a little bit of that in there. Um, what else did I have over here? Some onion powder. Just a tiny bit of that in there. And then 
The last step was half a stick of butter. I feel like maybe I should just put this in a pot. Cause I have a feeling we're gonna like, cook it. So that probably would have been helpful. But now I have all my ingredients in a bowl. So I'm gonna meet you guys back over at the stove and we're gonna start cooking. So now we're at the stove and I'm gonna start cooking the chicken and melt down all the ingredients in the sauce to make it an actual sauce. So I think I'm gonna use this pan for the chicken just because. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. So while we're doing that, I'm gonna pour all this into this pan. So as you can see, it's sizzling a lot. So I don't know if that's right, but I turned the heat down a little bit. The sauce is cooking right now and so is the chicken. Okay. So now our sauce is pretty much like melted down a lot more. It's more of like a sauce. Oh wow, the cheese is just so like cheesy. Now I'm gonna flip the chicken. the texture of it I don't know it's really really cheesy I don't know if it's supposed to be like that but I'm gonna taste it real quick yeah it kind of tastes like straight cheese so we're gonna add some stuff so we're gonna put some more onion powder in here okay. some more Italian seasoning Um, some more pepper. And then Chrissy this looks really good close up. And I'm just gonna put like a little bit more heavy whipping cream. tasted it it tastes pretty good so I'm just gonna take it off of the heat now and put it to the side and finish cooking the chicken so the chicken is not done yet so I'm gonna give it about five to ten more minutes and then I'll be back okay so the first set of chicken is actually done now so I just put in the pan the second set of chicken so I think I'm gonna actually set a timer for like um, nine minutes and let this chicken cook on one side for nine minutes and then turn it over and cook it on the other side so this is what the chicken looks like right now like this is the cooked chicken so it's pretty good actually so now the chicken is done the sauce is done the rest of the chicken is cooking, so next all I have to do is make the noodles. 
So I think I'll make the noodles after I flip the last little bit of chicken. So while waiting for the rest of the chicken to cook, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to make sweet tea because that is my favorite drink to drink with any meal, anytime. So what I usually do is I use Lipton tea bags. I get like 10 tea bags. are submerged in the water and then I put it in the microwave for two minutes. And then I wait for it to be done. And while I'm waiting for the two minutes to be up, I usually just throw away all the excess tea bag trash. So I also have my pitcher right here. So oh, so the tea's done. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna sit this right here for a second and that was actually the timer for my chicken too. So I'm gonna flip the chicken. I take a big spoon and I just like Press down on the tea bags to get all the flavor out of them. Then I just repeat this step one more time to get all the tea. So then I take my white sugar and I do like a cup and a half. So this is one cup of sugar and then about like half a cup of sugar. As you can see, most of the flavor is at the bottom, so I'm just gonna put the top one and shake it up. Okay, so now we're just gonna stick this in the fridge to cool off. Okay guys, so now we're about to make the noodles. So this is a pot of boiling water, and I'm just gonna use Linguini noodles. for six minutes I'm just gonna set a timer for six minutes Ooh. okay and now I'm gonna reheat our sauce that we made earlier so I'm just gonna put it on like low well medium low and I'm gonna let that reheat a little bit okay this is all the chicken when I cut it up I'm just gonna add this chicken to the sauce Now 
just gonna mix everything together. This is our chicken alfredo. Make myself a bowl. So we can see how it tastes. Okay, so we're finally done. So the last thing we're gonna do is put a little bit of parsley on the top. So this is what the food looks like, the finished product. And this is the tea. So now we're just gonna taste it real quick. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. Okay, okay. The tea's pretty good too. I would give this meal maybe a 9 out of 10. It could have been better, but you know, better luck next time. It's your girl Ace of Boy, signing off. I'll see you in the next one.